In FTC, the advancement system currently follows a list advancing teams alternating between judged awards and robot performance awards. In many competitions, not all members of the winning alliance or three Inspire Award winners uh, not all members of the winning alliance or all three Inspire Award winners advance. Sometimes, starting this year, the winning alliance captain doesn't even advance. What do you guys think about uh, this system? What alternatives would you propose to improve advancement in FTC? Yeah, one thing that we noticed about the system through our competitions is um, one of our states was Wyoming State. And at that state, they only advance one team which uh, wasn't a problem for us because we already advanced out of Colorado, but it was a problem that we identified at the start of the season and made it a priority to advance out of Colorado. So then we don't need to face the situation of only being able to advance to Inspire. Yeah, and okay, go, go ahead, Sean. Yeah, I think that one of the things that's happened is teams have to be more well-rounded in order to advance nowadays. Um, you can't just rely on the robot because there's so much randomness that happens with the robot and you might not even get an advancement slot. Like being the first pick or being a captain, there's not very much of a difference between the two because of qualification match randomness with the tiebreaker point system. But with Inspire, that's the only thing that you can consistently do competition after competition, which has led to more teams trying to aim for the Inspire award instead of just trying to go for the robot. Yeah, and I think that uh, something that like first could do that would really help out teams is we obviously want to keep it where regions that have more teams get more slots because that makes sense. But if there's some way that first could either increase the amount of FTC teams at Worlds or possibly bring back something like Super Regionals that would then give um, more teams a chance to advance. So you could maybe get even up to like six slots at those at the region. So then all everyone on the winning alliance would advance and everyone that got a, one of the three Inspire Awards would advance. I think that get a lot more teams and got and make a lot more teams motivated to do well. Yeah, yes. I definitely don't think there's any issue with like the order in which they advance teams, at least at that level. I think that, um, in my opinion, if there's if the winning if even the winning alliance captain doesn't advance, it takes a little bit out of the excitement of the robot of the robot competition. Yeah, like it's cool to see who wins and all, but it it's not that it doesn't matter, but you, no one advances because of their performance on the field. And I feel like it just makes it a little bit less exciting. Um, so I would think that even if, if first wanted to have the same number of teams at Worlds, just mo just modulate it such that every state sends at minimum two. And then so then you kind of uh, bring it down from, uh, bring down the advancement spots of a couple of other states to, to balance that out. Yeah, so Miles and Kaushik, you guys live in a region where there's a lot of really small states that all have like one team advancing from each state, two teams advancing from each state, making it very difficult, especially considering you're a very robot heavy team. Do you think that it would be better to like combine all these states into one competition and only get one shot, but more advancement slots? Or do you prefer it the way that it is right now with each state getting one or two slots? Yeah, um, recently, actually uh, this year, uh, New Mexico and Arizona um, they originally had two states together um, for like one competition, but they um, recently broke this off into two separate state competition. So now New Mexico only has one slot, and I think Arizona has like three or four slots that go to Worlds. Uh, so I do think like I think like one big you know state competition would be like something really nice to have because you would see a lot more teams go to Worlds and a lot more competitiveness at competitions too. Yeah, one other think, thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I also think that uh, combining regions would even give some teams more competitions, right? Because a lot of those states are like championship only states, where if you combine them and maybe made, were able to get like a qualifier system, then the states could, then even the teams that don't advance could world could still have multiple competitions and wouldn't just be at one competition and be done for the season. That's a good point. So yeah. then another. Thing to take into account is you have second picks, right? So second picks usually aren't as strong as like a first pick or a captain. Would you rather have more second picks advancing or leave it as you have so many competitions with less numbers of spots? Um, I think second picks advancing would be a good thing because at least at our competitions so far, our second picks have 
uh, been pretty decent and uh, have been like good feeder bots uh, so far. And I think second picks advancing and even like first picks advancing at some states, which don't even advance the first pick, might be a big thing because at our Colorado regional, we were the first pick. And also at Arizona, we were the first pick. And then we were winning alliance and first pick was up a creek at Wyoming. So I think first picks for us, at least this season, have been like like very dominant teams. And uh, if it weren't for Inspire Awards, some of those teams would have not advanced to world so far. I think also the, um, the TBP system this year where they're doing the average of the um, opposing alliances score is also um, like, I mean, that's made us a little bit lower at some competitions um, in the ranking system, which I think that also puts some teams at a disadvantage too. Yeah. Uh, also, like on the second pick thing, I think uh, second pick members are like pretty vital to an alliance. And it can also be where like some really like strong scouting plays in and where teams like are they're awarding the teams that maybe got unlucky with the match schedule or something. And so that those those really good teams that scouted well can then find that good second pick team. And I think they deserve to advance as well. I might throw in an unpopular opinion here. I kind of feel like, in having watched a lot of matches, I would almost suggest, well, if, if I made the rules, I would have the finalist alliance captain advance before the winning second pick. Um, I feel like if you want to talk about being disadvantaged, being put at a disadvantage because of the um, because of the ranking system, like that can happen really easily. To like, if you're a really good robot, then you're then if scouting has gone properly, you're probably going to get a first pick. Um, so I feel like, but if you're if the if you're like forced into a into a captain position and you say like and you try picking someone who ends up projecting you and ends up beating you out, but you're still a really good robot, and it wasn't necessarily, like, it, it sometimes gets a little bit out of your control. And so, um, I don't know, I, I, I kind of had the thought sometimes that, uh, that, the, that the finalist captain shouldn't be so far down on the list, considering of what a feat it is just to get to that position, to be a captain having performed so well in qualification matches and then gotten to the finals. Yeah, so we took a poll with the audience and we asked them, uh, should every state have a minimum of two teams to advance to championships? And 73% of you guys said yes, which I think all of us here agree with. And I think so one thing that's interesting is some people thought that combining the regions would be a good thing to do. So one of the things that I was definitely thinking about was the district model and how they've implemented it into FRC. Um, they've, they took, I know, Chesapeake, that's the place that I'm from. They took Maryland, and Virginia and combined them that way they could get some more slots um, and it would provide them with more opportunities to compete because you could meet more teams. Uh, there were just more competitions overall before a team got eliminated. Um, would you guys think that a district model or something like that would work? I don't know, Tyler, if you also wanna chime in about the district model and how it's worked. I, I just wanna say that it is absolutely, you know, for somebody who is primarily FRC, who is learning a lot more about FTC, that is absolutely insane to me that people who win competitions don't get to advance. Like, what a crazy concept. That I mean, if that was an FRC, people would be just losing their crap everywhere on that. So uh, to me, the solution is, which to me is what first has been about with championships, is just make championships larger, bring in more teams, and open up more slots. I mean, isn't that what first has been with the whole two champs anyways? Yeah. So you're telling yeah. me you can do two champs, but you can't bring in enough teams <laughs> and you can't bring in the winners. I mean, what the crap is that? That's not the right way to go about it. The, you know, if you want to bring, bring in the winners, bring in the Inspire Awards, bring in people like that and teams like that and make it more comprehensive. I mean, uh, how long are we going to keep treating FTC like it's, it's the stepchild of what FRC is? Start treating like equal programs and start bringing things together. Yeah, yeah, like, especially with, like, if you look at the ratio of the amount of FRC teams get into Worlds compared to the amount of, like, FRC teams there are, where, like, um, FTC gets, what, 160 per World Championship, but we have, like, 6,000 active teams. And so the the ratio is just off for FTC, and I think there's a lot of room that first could add teams for FTC. Yeah, also, maybe, like, you know, Worlds, they do have, like, the room for, like, more teams, and one thing that we've like talked about was like 
you know, worlds, they could do like, you know, four to like six divisions, which would be like really fun also. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. And they can also, if they increase the amount of advancement out of each state, maybe it would get rid of the need for lottery teams because usually like lottery teams that are pretty good at worlds end up being like teams that didn't advance because they were the first pick or they were the finalist alliance or something like that. So if they could increase advancement and then maybe reduce or get rid of lottery, then it would make teams more like, more teams would advance through the state competitions. Yeah, I, I think also a big thing is FTC has been growing at like an enormous rate. We have teams like, we have so many rookie teams this year, and we also have a lot of international countries this year, which have taken away a lot of the spots from the US, which I think is great. But one of the things is, if you take away spots from the US, you're going to be stuck with one team advancing per state. And that was the problem that we had last time. So I think that, yes, it's great have international teams, but you just got to grow worlds. That's like the end, end thing. It looks like we had a question in the chat from Cubix asking why they implemented the lottery. And so uh, I think the lottery was implemented to give teams that wouldn't otherwise advance a chance to go to Worlds and maybe see what it's like and maybe inspire them to like work even harder or something like that. And you can really see that with how they associate lottery tickets because they give teams an amount of lottery tickets based on how long it's been since they've been at Worlds. And so, yeah, I think that was why they implemented it. But I agree there is like, what is it 20 spots this year out of and so i think yeah. that may be too many for how many teams are not getting to advance yep completely yep. agree miles, miles I, de I definitely agree with you and you and uh, 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 uh Having, having, having multiple, more than two divisions, I think the uh, Einstein aspect and like the six divisions, I think it's six divisions, and then the playoff round robin they have in FRC, I think mean, that's like one of the coolest things about uh, about it. So, um, so yeah, I think that's uh, that would be really cool to bring into FTC. Yeah, and I think it would give a lot more teams like a better shot of like doing, you know, really good at Worlds because there will be a lot more alliances too. So like, yeah, yeah. De and definitely. like, and teams can play in like you know worlds elims, which would be like really cool for some teams to do. I think. Right, and I think uh, watching Houston champs uh, last year, how they had like one, or at least one, well, usually one really really strong team like in each division, and then that team ended up captaining an alliance, and then it was not like it wasn't like there were two super strong teams in an alliance versus one with just one really strong team. It it, it was a really really cool dynamic. Uh, that that ended up that ended up happening. So I think that'd be really cool to bring it to FTC. Yeah, definitely. Awesome. So that's gonna wrap up that conversation. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch, keeping fun loud, live, and independent.